I've got a friend who doesn't like leg meat. He says, I don't eat meat on bone. It's literally the best part of chicken. Some people, man. Don't eat meat on bone. <laughs> so where do you think f meat comes from, you d What's up guys, we're back at Gosney HQ. I'm Tom Straker and we're making chicken tacos. First up, this, this recipe is cooked in the rock box and we're using chicken legs. You can also do this with a half a chicken or a whole chicken if you want. No prep really needed. We need to make the dry rub for the chicken and that is smoked paprika, some chipotle chili flakes, a little bit less oregano, some garlic powder, onion powder and then salt. Get these chicken legs and you're going to put a good amount of oil over them. Get the chicken all nice and coated. And then it's just a case of pouring over the spice mix. Just massage that all into the chicken. You could do this stage the day before if you wanted to. Just let the, let the chicken marinate. Once that chicken's all covered nicely, we're going to go into a cast iron pan. So just before you put the tin foil on, you can put a touch of water in the chicken. This is just going to help it steam to begin with. And to stop it colouring too quickly, I'm going to put a nice bit of uh, tin foil over the top, just for the first sort of half an hour. Into the rock box on the lowest heat, probably around like the 200 mark. And just let it cook gently for about 20 minutes before we take the take the tin foil off. Okay, so whilst the chicken is cooking, we can make the mole sauce that we're going to dress the cooked chicken in afterwards. The mole paste. This one's got pasilla and ancho chilies in it and it's got vinegar, salt, chocolate, mix the chicken stock with the mole paste. You can whisk it over the over the heat and you're sort of whisking it until it's a nice rich thick sauce because that's going to dress the chicken when, when it's cooked. Okay so the chicken's been in for 20 minutes, low temperature. I'm just going to take that out. What we can do is just baste the chicken in all that stock and we'll go back in over the next sort of 20 minutes or so, just so we get really crispy skin. We're gonna to have to be turning this regularly so we don't burn one side, because obviously the back of the Gosney is hotter. So as you can see, the skin's getting nice and crispy on top. We're just gonna turn the legs just so we get crispy skin all around. Give that stock, the water we put in, a chance to cook off as well, and make sure the thighs are really well cooked so they're nice and soft when we come to, to shredding them. Everything's got a good bit of color on it on that side, flip it back once again and we're going in for the last colour on this side. And then it's a case of taking the thighs out and resting them nicely. Beautiful colour all over the skin. So just leave that rest, we'll come back to them later. Whilst the chicken's resting, we're going to make the burnt salsa. Fantastic to do in the rock box because you're looking for really quick heat. You can get your pan, get it really nice and hot. So take the top off the chilli, cut it in half. That goes in the tomatoes, and then it's just a case of peeling one onion, smoking hot, as I said. Just pour that all. Here, that's sizzling. That's a hot tray. Straight into the oven. Couple of minutes, we want to get that black. Leave that alone now. Yeah, there we go. Nice bit of burn there. That's what we're looking for, some charred skins, charred on the bottom as well, because we had the, we had the tray really nice and hot smokiness on the outside, but you still got a raw flavor of the tomato in the middle. We're not looking for like tomato sauce where the tomatoes like cooked down and gone sweet. We still want that sharpness. Okay, once these vegetables are cooled down enough that you're not going to burn yourself, you can cut, come at it, rock and chop, mate. Once you've had that nicely chopped, it's still good to have a bit of texture in there. You know, a nice bit of crunchy onion. Right, so we're going to season this up now. You've got your chopped tomatoes, onions, garlic and chili, flaky sea salt, obviously red wine vinegar, you can use white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar if you want. Good amount of olive oil. And then we're going to add a load of freshly chopped coriander to it. You don't want to go like smashing the knife through a million times, making, making your herbs black. That just rounds it off, stir that in. Nice and fresh, burnt, zingy, all the lovely fresh, freshly burnt vegetables. Avocado cream, good ripe avocados, and it's one avocado to one lime. So two avocados, two limes, and a tablespoon of creme fraiche. So it's really, really nice and easy, this. Because we've got the lime juice in there, it won't go black. It'll, it'll keep for a, you know, keep for a day or so. Make sure you cover it with um, cling film. Put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. 
Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, so cabbage. Really, just want to really finely slice the cabbage, and that's going to be just a nice little finish on the taco. It's going to supply a bit, of, provide a bit of crunch. Okay, so now the chicken is nicely rested. What we'll do is just cut the leg in half, so through the through the joint. First, you take all the meat off this drumstick bone. Now that's a nasty bone. It's chicken's last last chance for you with the thigh. You just want to come around the outside of the thigh bone. Just scraping down, make sure you're getting all that meat off. Then what we're going to do is just shred it, toss it back through all that sauce. Flavour town right there. Maximum eating pleasure. The mole sauce. Just to lube it up. Add that nice deep flavour. The resulting product is supremely juicy. It's like fajita night. Tuesday night. We've got everything ready. We've got avocado cream, burnt salsa, shredded chicken thigh, and beautiful shaved cabbage. The last piece of the puzzle is the fresh corn tortillas. Tortillas straight into the rock box. Super quick, take two seconds. Just want to toast that off, stack them up. Tortillas toasted. Go a little bit of the avocado chicken. Top that with the salsa, the burnt salsa. Raw, fresh cabbage. A nice wedge of lime. To finish these off. How do they look? Cool. So this is my uh, chicken taco. Cooked in the rock box. A la Gosney. Mm. So many flavors, so juicy. Avocado just tempers that heat really banging. So for the recipe, go to gosney.com. It's all going down the pan with that, Erica. This is it, it's so, like she holds it all together, man. <laughs> Don't eat meat on bone.